She's my hero. She's a warrior. A heartbreaking loss made even more poignant by the words and images she shared. I love my job, Sergeant Nicole G. wrote just days before the attack under this now iconic photo of her cradling an Afghan baby. When people see that photo, they see compassion. Mm -hmm. As her father, what do you see? Just my baby. Yeah, it's my baby. Richard Herrera foresaw the photo on TV before the bombings. He'd been sharing it with friends and family, proud as only a father can be. Then he learned the devastating news. It broke me for a while. It hit me hard. G's father, just one of so many grieving this morning. President Biden and the First Lady paid respects to the fallen at Dover Air Force Base over the weekend. The president meeting with families in mourning as their bodies were transported with military honors. While in cities and towns across the nation, tributes poured in for the deceased, including Marine Sergeant Johanny Rosario from Massachusetts. We will always remember her as the hero that she is. The town of Wentzville, Missouri, honoring Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. Norco, California, remembering Lance Corporal Kareem Nikui. We're a family. So our heart breaks. Sorry. 31-year-old Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover was a natural leader, said his father, respected by his fellow Marines. That's going to be hard to go on without him. But we know that he died doing exactly what he wanted to do. He went out his way. 22-year-old Navy corpsman Maxton Soviak was just a kid. His older sister posted on Instagram, writing, My beautiful, intelligent, beat to the sound of his own drum, annoying, charming baby brother was killed yesterday, helping to save lives. Most of the 13 were just kids, some just babies on 9-11, which led to the war in Afghanistan. Their deaths now punctuating its bitter end. The family and friends of the deceased say they are praying for the men and women still in Afghanistan. Tomorrow is the official deadline for the withdrawal, and officials there say there have been threats of more attacks. Guys? Aaron McLaughlin Force there uh, in California. Aaron, thank you. Most of the 13 just kids. That... Uh... When you, when you actually put the names and the faces and the mm-hmm. stories behind those uh, brave people, it's just pretty uh, moving. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.